Hey yo, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the fireboat uh, for our career mode. So anyways, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. It'll be linked down below, and while you're at it, you may as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways, guys, let's get into the video. Alright guys, to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on mirror mode, and um, for this tower right here, we're going to go ahead and copy and paste it. So there's two, one on each side. We're not going to have a central one. So we're just going to grab the entire thing. Actually, we're going to go ahead and cut the entire thing. There we go. So control X. Okay, let's move it uh, to approximately. Let's go ahead and put it right here. Um, so I think I'm going to actually move this. So it's uh, sort of a platform for it. Um, so it'll be this wide. And we're just going to build these up so it has uh, space for it. And then for this, we're just going to go ahead and place this here as well as these right here. All right, now let's go ahead and paste it in. So we're going to paste it in right here. There we go. And then we're gonna turn it around and paste it in right here. There we go. Now we're just gonna go ahead and merge it. So that way we have uh, two two places for the fire. Um, okay, so the, the next thing we're gonna do. Um, okay, so we're going to grab a hose anchor and then there's going to be another spot to put out fires right here so we're just going to grab some pipes and we're just going to go ahead and place it down sideways like this so it goes up to right here if we can actually do it there we go all right cool um so now what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and finish this back area so i'm just going to bring it down to about right here actually i'm going to make it go inwards well actually back a little bit and then inwards to right here then we're going to drag this down to here. And right here, what we're going to do with this is we're going to make a crane. But we're going to add stairs right here. So let's grab some stairs. So these right here. And now we're just going to place them right here. There we go. Okay, let's grab the stairs and we're going to line it up with this right here. And place it all the way down. Alright, cool. Now let's go ahead and add some wedges right here. And now let's go ahead and grab some rails. Actually, we don't have rails, so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this for just regular blocks. So it's going to be about this high. So we're just going to go ahead and add, add this in like that. And we're going to fix this to right here. Now we're going to copy and paste it to over here. So that way, we don't have to do as much work. So we're going to press Control c And then we're going to paste it here as well as here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and merge it. There we go. All right, now we're gonna make a platform right here for the actual crane. We don't have any mechanical parts for the crane at the moment, but we can uh, just leave it there for now. So, next thing, we're just going to go ahead and um, add some uh, one by two wedges just right here, um, just for looks. That'll uh, give it some sort of like uh, look of a support beam, I guess you could say, supports or something like that, braces and all right, so right here, we're going to just go ahead and place this to right here. Now, I'm going to try and make it functional today so we can get some uh, experience, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and get started on the engines. So for this part, I'm just going to have, actually, I think I'm gonna have an engine room. So it's 10 blocks tall, a player is seven blocks tall, we'll have three blocks of space. Um, so for that three blocks of space, we might just have like, uh, a pathway looking down down the hallway, but I'm not certain I'm going to do that yet. So temporarily, I'm just going to place the engines in here, just in not in not in any particular order. So we're just going to place them side by side like this, all the way along here, like this. The engines, uh, the outputs are going to be, or the power output is going to be in one line, so we can do it easier. All right. So now we're going to grab a radiator which will keep it cool. All right, so we're just going to place it in right here, as well as here and here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some pipes. So it's down a block, so we're gonna grab two uh, angled pipes and we're going to place it down like this. And we're going to place it down right here. Now for this, since it's uh, lined up with the other side and there's no blocks in between, we can go ahead and copy and paste it all the way down. It'll be quicker, I, I think. So we're just going to paste it in and we're going to go ahead and merge it 
Now we're going to click it. So in the actual editor, when you're in selection grid and you select something else, after immediately pasting something, it has its own, like it returns to the original grid. So that way the other area that you select can increase the grid from there. It's kind of an interesting process. Um, I, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's meant to be in the game, but it's there. So we're going to go ahead and lead the exhausts out to right here. Um, after we paint this right here. So let's go ahead and paint it. There we go. All right. Um, I think there's one more. Yeah, there's one more block. All right, there we go. All right, cool. So we are going to run several exhaust pipes because I think we can go with uh, four. We'll go with three per one ex exhaust pipe. So these three right here will go up while these three will combine. So we're just going to go ahead and place these pipes like this so it all lines up. There we go. And now for these over here, we're going to make them go up a block like this. And then we're going to then uh, make them go this way. So we're going to grab the same connector pipe. So we're going to, going to place it in line like that. We're going to drag this all the way to the back to approximately, approximately right there. And we're just going to delete back here. And we're going to change them so they come out right here. Here. Um, so to do that, we're going to grab a port. Um, actually, you know what? So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this right here. So there's two right here, and then right here we can add another wedge so it leads down into the water. So it doesn't really need to be, there doesn't need to be a wedge here, but if the boat ever does flip, it'll show it. It'll be a little bit nicer to look at than just, uh, little cubic area I guess it looks it makes it look more aer uh, hydrodynamic I guess we'd say not aerodynamic because it's in the water so now that we got the exhaust in let's go ahead and paint this really quickly because I forgot about that um, okay let's go ahead and connect these in All right, connect these up so this top one will go to the bottom one or this bottom one will go to the bottom one so let's go ahead uh, place a couple pipes down like this there we go, and now let's go ahead and face it towards the back. And this one, we're going to make it go sideways before it goes down. That way, we have less angles uh, to deal with. Okay, so now we can go ahead and place it like this, as well as this right here. Now let's grab this, place it here, and then this one we can go ahead and place it to there. All right, cool, now that's the exhaust. So the air intakes, we can go ahead and I guess just Place, huh? Actually, you know what? Um, we can go ahead place them. Uh, huh. So I think what we can do with these right here is we can go ahead and move these. Actually, let's go ahead and eliminate this ladder. Well, not eliminate it, but let's go ahead and move it over a couple blocks. Um, or we could from right here. We could theoretically move the rest of the boat back and make it slightly longer. So let's go ahead and grab the entire thing, including the ladder and the bottom part, which is um, a little bit lower than the rest of the hole. All right, all right, I think I got it. Nope, I did not. All right, so let's go ahead, clear content, control Z, so it, or, uh, it goes back. All right, so let's grab this. Now we're good to go. So we're going to drag it back to about here. And then we can grab this row of blocks right here. Since it's identical to the rest, since it's just an extension, and we can go ahead and copy and paste it, and it'll work the same. So this, we're just gonna go ahead and merge all the way. There we go. All right, cool. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to um, add the air intakes right here. So it's going to be from right here to here. So there's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. I'm not certain how big we should go with it. So I think we could just go with um, sort of like a box, I guess you could say. Just up to here, down to here, down to here, as well as right to there. All right, so this will kind of be like a intake for the air. Well, it will be an intake for the air. So we're just gonna add a couple ports up top. We can do uh, three, three ports, which would be six total. There's um, six engines, so we can connect them individually and they will have a good air intake. So for this top part, I'm going to paint it uh, black. Actually, let's make it a little bit more round first. 
So let's go ahead and delete all four of the corners like that. Okay, we'll grab the wedge, this one right here, and we're just going to place it on every single corner all the way around, oh, uh, including this one right here. All right, let's grab the black. All right, let's go ahead and paint around all the way around, including this level, actually. Let's go up a level right here, and then let's go ahead and fill this in all the way around, every single block above this row, or this level of blocks, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and paint it, all right, including the top. That would be uh, good to get. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab this right here, and you know what? Actually, we could, should we delete this part? I'm not certain. So for decoration for this part, it's going, we're just gonna put some ladders right here. It'll, it'll act as handles for you to grab when you're going up. Um, so you know what? For this part, I'm just going to go ahead and paint it red and make it looks like, look like the air intake is partly red, just for decoration, like that. And then this part we can leave alone since it's a separate block. Um, okay, so there's a stray, stray red block. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and connect the pipes. So let's delete this right here and place these here as well as these two here. Like this. And then we'll fill that in. Okay, we'll go ahead and delete this right here. So this will go all the way down. So the air intakes do look like they have to go out a block and then up. So we're just going to place a pipe on every end. And then we're going to face or make these face up like this. All right. So now let's go ahead and place them up a block. And then these we can go ahead and drag down to here one by one. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and drag them down to about right here. All three of them, well, all six of them technically. So then these. Uh, okay. So this one. The lowest one, which will be the closest one to this, is going to go this way, all the way, two blocks, and then we're going to turn it this way. This way, uh, this one will go over here, and it'll go right there, like so. This one's going to go over one, and then uh, back. So then, for this one, we can go ahead and turn this pipe right here, so it goes out a block, and then it turns. That way, we can get it to line up with this pipe right here like so now for this one we can go ahead and make it go over a block and then this way so for this we don't really need a extension pipe we just need the two angle pipes we can just go connect it like this all right now we'll just go ahead and connect them there we go that's the air intake and i am wrong that was not the air intake dang it that was the fuel intake. Okay. All right. So for the for the air intake, um, we're just going to combine them all into four pipes. Um, actually, yeah. So they're all going to be four pipes total. Um, two for each for each three engine. So I believe it'll add up to uh, slightly more than one pipe per air intake well one more than one air intake per pipe uh, but not two per pipe if that makes sense so it'll be easier on the pipes but not too much easier that it'll, that it'll clog it up or not clog it up uh, starve it so this one we can go ahead and turn directly this way this one we can go ahead and move one block and then turn it this way and then for over here we can go ahead and combine this into or it will make it go out a block with the angle. This one will go to right here. And then this can go right here, like that. As well as this one could be a four-way pipe. And then they can connect up properly. So that way, they all four connect into the three intakes. So, um, now, uh, what am I going to do? So, okay, let's go ahead and connect the fuel up. So the fuel uh, refueling part for the ship will be probably somewhere over here on the side. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, just for decoration, I'm going to quickly add a one block tall rail. All right, there we go. Now that we did that, what we're going to do is we're going to get onto the uh, fuel intake. 
So the fuel intake is going to be somewhere over here on the side. So we'll probably put the fuel tank somewhere over here. It'll probably be right here. Seems like a reasonable place. So let's go ahead and place it up right here. So I'm going to estimate that each engine should have about 1,000 liters each, or maybe I should go 2,000. So let's go ahead and aim for 2,000 liters. So let's go ahead and place a fluid meter into the container of uh, fuel. Okay, then we're going to grab and add this one right here. I'm just gonna place it down. Okay, let's grab a dial and we'll place it down over here. So this will tell how much fuel we have in each thing, just for the capacity, not how much is in there. So there's no fluid spawner, we're not gonna actually spawn in fuel and waste money. So let's go ahead and save it. All right, let's go ahead and spawn it in. All right, so we got 3,000. Let's go ahead and make that a lot bigger. So we're just going to go ahead and make it go all the way across, all the way to here, as well as to here. And then we're just gonna delete the walls. Just like that. All right, let's go ahead and actually this will this won't give us the fuel capacity. It'll give us two times the fuel capacity since there's two few up fluid meters putting the same number into here. So it's just going to add. It's just going to multiply the total capacity by two. So we're going to go ahead and delete one, and then let's go ahead and try to spawn it in and see how much there is. All right, so there's eleven thousand eight hundred. This that's a good size for a fuel tank. Um, so, honestly, I quite like the towers, to be honest, it's just going, just, just a random thought that I had. So, so you just hook it up to here, you turn this on. I like it. Alright, okay, let's get back into it. So, this is, uh, 11,000, or sorry, 12, yeah, 11,800. That's how much fuel we got in here. So, um, let's just go ahead and add these wedges. It's going to give us a little bit less fuel, but it's fine. Or it's, it's for the decoration. Um, and I just remembered that this was half a floor. It wasn't a solid floor, so below that we don't really have 10 blocks. Because this is going to go down to probably 8 blocks in the entire floor. So we got 5 blocks here. Let's go ahead and add, add a couple layers. So this will be the 6th block, the 7th, 8th, and this, this one will be the floor. So let's go ahead and add that really quickly before we add too many pipes that will get in the way that we'll have to fix in the future. So let's just go ahead and drag this to here as well as that to there. There we go, let's add the floor. All right, cool, this is the um, downstairs area. So this is eight blocks tall. Yes, all right. So we do have this area, but there's not really much we can do with it. I guess we can, we'll just leave it there for now. We can add equipment in there later if we need to, but for now we're just gonna leave it. So down here, we're going to add some ports every couple blocks. So, actually, no, I don't, th I, I don't think I will. So, let's go ahead and add some handles to the side of it. And, um, do we have handles? Yeah, we do, okay. Just every couple blocks, just for decoration. So, let's go ahead and place it at this level right here. Just right here. Um, let's go every other window. So, that'll be a seven block gap. So we're going to go seven blocks over here. So there's going to be one right here. Let's go ahead and add this. And then this is five blocks. This, will, this is six, this is seven. There's gonna be one right here. All right, so this is five, six, that's seven. This one will be right here. All right, um, that's seven blocks in between each handle. So um, now let's go ahead and uh, do the fuel. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing the fuel, my bad. All right, let's go ahead and add uh, some fluid ports so we can get the fuel into the actual uh, engines. So let's go ahead and make these pipes go out by one block. Okay, let's go ahead and make them face this way. So we're gonna try and do three pipes per one pipe, or three engines per pipe. So this is a little bit risky, but it might work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make this face up and face this way and then down and then there's going to be a pump right here. Um, actually, we're gonna need to go up the block. There we go, all right. So there's going to be a pump right here. It's gonna be a fluid port for the intake. 
So this we're going to have to delete, but that's fine. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and continue the pipe into here so we can actually get to the bottom of the tank. That would be more logical instead of having it at the top. So we're just going to go ahead and place the fluid input down right here. And then we'll add a port, a fluid port. There we go. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make this face up. And then we're going to add a pump. So this will uh, pump the fluids up to the engines. So this is the right way. All right, cool. Now, we're, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the, we're going to add the engines, uh, well the engines, uh, not the engines, um, now we're going to connect the power input, or outputs, onto one thing, because it's going to go to one prop in the end, and I think what we're going to do for that is we're going to go ahead and do that next episode, because I've ran out of time, so... Thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. It'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you may as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways, guys, bye for now.